Conic sections by definitions are intersection of a plane and a double naped cone which is used in the study of analytic geometry. Now in analytic geometry it is very important you can visualize what you are working on and there are four conic sections that we're going to be focusing on in this lesson. So we have the parabola, we have the ellipse, we have the hyperbola, and we have the circle. Now to visualize each of these conic sections, so we have here a plane, so this is a representation of a plane, and the conic sections that we have here on my examples are basically the slices of your plane through the conic sections. So if we slice through a cone, using a slant position of your plane will be able to produce a parabola. So this is the conic section generated by the plane slicing through your conic section diagonally. Now when your conic section has been cut by a plane right through the cone, it will create an ellipse that is quite similar to this particular diagram right here. So this is our second conic section that we're going to be working on for this lesson. Now the hyperbola, on the other hand, if you have this cone right here, and this is your plane and it went through the plane or the cone like this, it will create two um, parabola or little parabola in this two forms right here or figures is what we call as the hyperbola. And then the last section, given a conic section, if we slice the plane right through the cone horizontally, it will form a circle. And these are the conic sections that we're going to be working on for our lesson in analytic geometry. Now let's focus on our first conic section, which is the parabola. Now the first thing that we need to know about each conic section is the special parts for each of the conic sections that we're going to be working on. So for the parabola, it's defined as a set of all points x, y in a plane that are equidistant from a fixed line called the directrix and a fixed point called the focus. And here's where the directrix and the focus is in our parabola. So this point right here, right inside the parabola, is our focus, which is equidistant from the focus to the vertex and directrix to, through the vertex. So the vertex is basically your midpoint between the focus and your directrix. So these are the parts that we are going to be using in analyzing a parabola. Now there are two types of equations that can be formed when we are working with a parabola. One is the equation of the parabola when it's opening vertically, either upwards or downwards. So when the parabola is opening vertically, the standard equation of the parabola will be given by x minus h squared equal to 4p times y minus k, wherein the p, or this value right here, will be positive when the parabola is opening upwards. So this particular example here, the p for this parabola will be a positive p. And the p is the distance between the focus and the vertex. So that is basically what p is in our formula. And when the p is less than zero, which means it's negative, the parabola will be opening downward. Now, this is the general form for a parabola opening vertically. Now, it will be changed when the parabola is opening sideways. So these, this is an example of a parabola that's opening to the right. And if you'll notice, the standard equation of the parabola is now changed from x minus h squared, now we're using y minus k squared, equal to 4p times x minus h. So when the parabola is opening sideways, we are using y minus k squared instead of the other equation. So you need to make sure that you're using the correct form of the equation of the parabola depending on how it's opening. So for the opening of our parabola that's opening sideways, it's going to open to the right if the p is positive. And if the p is negative, that means it's opening to the left side of your axis. So that's what we need to understand about the parabola when it's opening um, vertically and when it's opening horizontally.
right, now let's start to analyze a parabola given its graph. Now for the first example, this is the graph of our parabola, where you will see our matrix, the focus, and our vertex. And it's obviously opening to the left. So since it's opening sideways, the equation of the problem that we're using will be y minus k squared equal to 4p times, times x minus h. So this, so this is the form of which equation that you will use in analyzing, in analyzing the parabola, the parabola that is opening to the left. Now to, now, to analyze, the analyze the parabola, we have, we have to do is to list down all, all the parts of the parabola, of the parabola, of the parabola in the, in the coordinate, coordinate system. system. So for, so for our vertex, the vertex will lie, lie at the point of origin, so, so, that, so that means the vertex, the vertex is at zero. 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 Now for now our focus, the focus is our point. This is the point where the focus is in the coordinate. Um, um, pair, pair, ordered pair, 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 for our focus, focus will be at negative three, three and zero. zero. So the focus so the is negative three, three point negative three and zero. zero. Now the directrix is the line right here opposite our vertex and our focus. So this line is at x equal to three and it's um, vertical. So that means the directrix is an equation of a line which is x equal to three. Now the axis of symmetry is basically the line that cuts through the parabola that will give it an equal or congruent um, figure. So this is our line of symmetry and our line of symmetry is our x-axis so therefore the axis of symmetry is y equal to zero or the equation of the axis of symmetry is y equal to zero because it's a horizontal line. Now, the standard equation of our parabola is based out of our h and k, which is basically our vertex, which is at 0, 0. So that means we will replace k and h by 0 and 0. And our p right here, which is this part of our formula, will be the distance between the focus to your vertex. And the distance of your focus to the vertex is at one, two, three. So there are three units across the focus and the directrix. Therefore, P is equal to three. Now, you will notice that the sign of our P is negative instead of positive because the parabola is opening to the left. So that means the P value, which is the distance between the focus and the vertex, is at three units, which gives us negative three because of its opening. So to simplify the standard equation of your parabola, it will give us x squared equal to negative 12 y. So this is the standard equation of the parabola when the vertex is at the point of the origin. Now, on our second example, the point of origin or the vertex of our parabola is no longer in the point of origin. So we have a parabola, we have the vertex, the focus, the directrix, and the axis of symmetry. Now, to analyze the second set of parabola that we have, the first thing that we need to know is the formula that we are using. The standard form of a parabola that's opening vertical is x minus h squared equal to 4p times y minus k. So to plug in or to find the parts of the parabola in this graph right here, our vertex is at 4 and 1 because the x value is at 4 and the y value is 1. So the vertex is at 0 0.41 and our focus will be right here which is at 4 and 4. So that will be our focus and the directrix is a line, a horizontal line at y equal to negative 2. So the axis of symmetry is therefore right here on this line right here which cuts through the middle of our parabola which is at x equal to 4. So this is our vertex, our focus, our directrix, and axis of symmetry. Now for the standard equation of the parabola, we will use our equation and replace the value of h and k by our vertex. So the vertex is at 4, 1. So the h value here will be 4 and k is 1. So to replace h and k, we'll have 4 and 1. Now, for our p value, since the p value is right here, the distance between the focus and the directrix, which measured 
one, two, three units. Therefore, the p-value is positive three because it's opening upwards. So the standard equation of our parabola will be x minus four squared equal to four times three times y minus one. And to simplify the equation, it will give us x minus four raised to the second power equal to 12 times y minus one.